Hey there guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to take a look at two products from Nomad. So big shout out to Nomad for sending these out to review. So what we have here is a screen protector and they do have this for the 12 mini, 12 pro and 12 pro max as well as the regular 12. And then we have the leather skin and this is also available for all the iPhone 12 models. Comes in two different colors, it comes in rustic brown and black. And uh, these come in at a price of $29.95 for the leather, um, the leather skin and $24.95 for the screen protector. So first we're gonna go ahead and check out the leather skin and apply this bad boy to my iPhone 12 pro. So our box is a little different from traditional Nomad boxes. We just have Nomad branding on the front. We have a little pull cable to pull this out. And we also have a QR code to uh, show you how to install it. And it does say scan here or visit nomadgoods.com slash skin install for a detailed instruction video. If we open this up, we should get all the stuff that is included. So we have, looks like our leather skin is in here. So we have our leather skin. And as you can see, this is the rustic brown and it is absolutely beautiful. So this is gonna look really, really nice. So if you are not a case fan, then this might be the way to go. Now, of course, that's, that's all you're gonna get, but really nice that Nomad does have recyclable packaging. So all this is cardboard and uh, paper, so it can be recycled easily. Now, of course, before you apply a skin to the back of your phone, you wanna make sure it is clean. Now, I have cleaned this previously, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it on camera just to show you. So I have one of these wet wipes. You get one of these alcohol wet wipes or just use something, uh, you know, really light, but it'll actually clean off anything, any dirt or anything like that. So it does stick and adhere to the back of your phone. So I'll take this wet wipe and we'll go over the back of the phone. Of course, you don't need to worry about the camera. It's not going on the camera, it's going around the camera. But if we just go around the back of the phone, we're gonna make sure that it is dust and dirt free. Make sure you get along the camera because it does go all the way around the camera. And then once you feel that it is clean enough, we can take a cloth and just wipe it down. And then in Nomad's instructional video, what they did is they took the skin off the actual uh, paper backing and then they kind of placed it at the bottom so you could just take it one piece at a time. So just obviously be careful with the camera portion because that could bend. So we'll just kind of take this and I'm gonna kind of treat it like a screen protector instead. I'm gonna just go ahead and go around the camera and try to get it perfectly aligned and then see if it is, uh, see if we can just go down the line a little bit. So I'm gonna try and do this the best I can. Now, obviously don't stick it down right away. You wanna make sure that it's going to be on there perfectly. So we'll go ahead and try this, see if I can get it to be aligned properly. And of course, go by their instructional video, don't go by me. But yeah, see, as you can see, I'm not doing the best job here. I'm gonna do my best to get it on here perfectly so it looks like it's decent. But as you can see, I'm a little over on one side and I'm gonna scoot it over to try and get it properly seated here. So again, don't push it down all the way if you can. That way, you know, if it's misaligned, you can lift it up. And then push down around and it looks like we got it on there. There we go. There was a bubble. You can see a little bubble on the side. We can push that out to the side, just like a screen protector. Don't use your fingernail. This is leather still, so you're gonna scratch it. Don't do that. Overall, looks really, really nice. And that is our leather skin. So again, comes in rustic brown and black. Smells like leather. Absolutely beautiful. And really looks nice with a naked iPhone, as you can see. And next we're going to take a look at the screen protector that they now offer. And again, this is $24.95. Comes in very similar packaging to the leather skin, so just Nomad branding on the front. All cardboard, so this is all recyclable, which is awesome. So uh, right up front we actually get a guide, so I love these because it helps to put it on perfectly. And then we get our screen protector itself. And it gives you how to install. So it says clean the screen using the wet wipe, dry the screen using microfiber cloth, remove dust using stickers, place alignment tool over phone, which is this. Remove backing from protector and install on the screen. And they have a QR code so you can scan this to get a video showing you detailed instructions. And then we have our installation accessories, which should include an alcohol wipe as well as maybe a microfiber cloth or a small cloth to dry it off. And yes, I was correct. So as you can see, we have a small cloth to dry it off and it even has Nomad branding on it. So that's pretty cool. And so you can keep that if you wanted to use it for your glasses or for your, uh, for your phone. Have a small alcohol wipe as well as dust removal stickers. So let's go ahead and 
put this on my iPhone 12 Pro. Now, if you already have a screen protector on there, you're gonna have to remove it. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but my screen protector is pretty bad and needs to be replaced anyway, so this is actually really good. Now, you should be able to just lift a uh, fingernail underneath and then kind of slide it slowly off like so. And there's my old one. And then we can go ahead and prepare the screen for the new one. So we can take our alcohol wipe and we can go ahead and wipe this down. Now, if you did have a screen protector on here previously, you may have some lines kind of like mine does right here, uh, as you can see around the uh, camera and the earpiece and all the way around the phone. So you will need to take extra care to kind of get that off so that you don't have that showing when you put on the new one. So we'll go ahead and give it a nice clean all the way around to get the screen absolutely perfect and clean. And then again, we have those dust removal stickers as well. So if dust happens to get on your phone, you'll have a way to get it off. Now, uh, I've heard that the best place to put these on is in the bathroom. I don't know if that's true, but you can have steam. You know, say you put hot water on, something like that. That may help reduce the amount of dust that gets on your screen so that your screen protector will adhere properly. So um, that's just something I've heard. Not sure if it's true, but maybe put it on your bathroom. That might be a better place to do it. All right, so we got that, and now we can wipe it off with our little cloth that's included. Now again, you don't have to use this. If you have a microfiber cloth or something like that, you can use that. But I'm using the included accessories just to do it the way that they want us to do it here. And again, if you wanna see installation instructions from them, that's the best place to find it. And I'll leave those linked down below. So if you wanna use theirs, you can actually see how they do it. And that'll be the way I would tell you to do it because that's the proper way. So once we've got this screen clean, you have a guide. We'll go ahead and go with that. And there you go. So as you can see, what this does is it helps you guide where you put the screen protector so you can get it on there perfectly and it'll align properly all the way around. Or you can use one of these dust stickers and they should just come right off. And then if you see dust, grab it. Now once we've gotten all the dust off and everything is clean, give it another, you know, blow it off real quick. Make sure that everything is good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slowly peel the backing off the screen protector and put it on. Now this one actually covers the entire um, face ID uh, line up here so it'll actually cover everything so you don't have to worry about it getting destroyed or anything like this previous one as you can see it had a cutout for the face id sensor this one does not so not sure how different that is but you'll just have to align the earpiece rather than the face id assembly so what we're going to do here is we'll take it from the back and we'll go ahead and start to line it up with our phone so find the earpiece and try to get it lined up as best you can like so and then we'll start to adhere at the top and then we'll slowly pull it down. And of course, make sure it's in the actual guide area. And then should be able to pull it all out. And once it is, we can go ahead and remove our guide and we'll go ahead and push down on the rest of the screen protector. You may get a bubble or two. So there we go. And I have two bubbles, not a big deal. Just move those out of there. You can use a credit card or your finger, whichever you feel better doing. And if you get a piece of dust in there, you can always lift it slightly and use your dust removal tool to get that out. But for the most part, this went on pretty easy. All right, here's the result. So as you can see, screen protector looks really, really nice. Fits on there, absolutely great. And uh, goes really well with that leather skin. So. These are two really nice products from Nomad. Again, big thanks to them for sending this out to review. If you guys have any questions or anything on these, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll leave a link down for these uh, if you are interested in these as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.